Hello everyone. My poster is devoted to new faces in extended Bothe Hubbard models. Various types of such models have been studied for more than 30 years. And interestingly, it seems that there is still a room for something new here. Uh, we find a set uh, of new phases, phases of quantum droplets. For that observation, we propose an experimental setting based on multimode optical cavities. Um, if you want to know more details, let's go. So droplets are self-bound states of matter existing due to competition between some attractive interactions that hold uh, different parts together and repulsive interactions that prevent the system from the collapse. And um, here you see a couple of examples of such objects uh, from scales of microworlds to mesoscales and really to cosmological scales. More precisely, my poster is devoted to droplets in cold atomic systems. Um, and recently, they drew a lot of attention due to several experimental breakthroughs. So quantum droplets have been observed in two classes of experiments. First, with dipolar gases. And second, uh, in two component bosonic mixtures. So for example, uh, in this dipolar case, the attraction is due to the magnetic moments of atoms. Um, and even more recently, these three experiments from 2019 observed metastable arrays of quantum coherent droplets. So on the left, you see ordinary superfluid phase with some density fluctuations. Um, here on the right, you see a crystal state of non-coherent droplets. Uh, and this state in the middle is the most interesting one. So you still have an array of droplets but now with both density-density correlations uh, and quantum coherence between droplets. So this array represents the so-called supersolid state of matter. Now, uh, instead of continuous models, we have studied a lattice model that belongs to the class of the so-called extended Bose-Hubbard models. So on top of the usual uh, Bose-hopping uh, T term uh, and this U local repulsion, we have this uh, V term along range interaction term. Uh, and we consider uh, a specific form of the long range interaction V, uh, this one, which can be implemented by multimode optical cavities. So interaction V can be either monotonous, so the sign factor S uh, is one, or sign changing. And let me anticipate uh, the four types uh, of droplets we observe. So for monotonous interaction, uh, there are superfluid and mod droplets, while for the sign changing interaction, there are super solid droplet and density wave droplet. Okay, first I show uh, our results for the monotonous interaction. So this color plot shows dependence of superfluid coherence um, in coordinates of uh, like U, which is local repulsion, uh, and V, which is long range attraction. Uh, you see this funny stripy structure with regions of small coherences like here, uh, so corresponding to mod droplets, and larger coherences, which are the superfluid droplets. Uh, and for the density profile, so if we compare, for example, these three points of the phase diagram, uh, it means transition between states with uh, small fluctuations of local fillings, so mod droplets, and large fluctuations. So this uh, superfluid uh, droplet here in the middle. And uh, here, so if we go from this droplet to this droplet, the occupation uh, number in the core of the droplet changes by one. Uh, for the case of the sign changing interaction, so here I show it uh, for the case of two dimensions, we analogously observe a super solid droplet, so for example here, and density wave droplets like here. Okay, finally, let me put a bridge to some known results. So here I compare the known phase diagram for the infinite range, um, this upper panel, and our results for the finite range of interaction, this lower panel. So in this experiment, uh, basically the infinite range interactions have been induced by a single mode optical cavity. 
Uh, our proposal concerns multi-mode optical cavities, which can induce finite range interaction. Uh, you see that uh, in the finite range case, here we have the same uh, extended phases like superfluid, mod, density wave, and supersolid. But on top of them, we have these droplet phases, supersolid droplet and density wave droplet. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I hope to see you around my poster and ciao.